So what I'm going to do today is walk you through a complete SMS application that will accept an inbound text message, send a response, and store all of the relevant details of that exchange in CouchDB. That's going to be written in Node.js, and we're going to leverage the CouchDB Changes API. It's one of the one of the features that I find really, really cool about CouchDB, and it's incredibly powerful, and it will allow us to keep our code really simple uh, and our code footprint actually pretty modest. So all the code for this will be posted on GitHub. So if you want to use it in your Node Knockout project or you want to use it for any other project where it might be a good fit, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to walk you through the code and then I'm going to show you how it works. So I've got this really simple class that I call CouchWatcher. And I use it just to connect to the CouchDB Changes API and uh, optionally use a filter to deliver uh, documents that I'm interested in using. You can use this inside a Node.js document um, really easily. So here you can see I've got a very simple instance uh, set up and I pass in, uh, when I call this watch method, I actually pass in a reference to a CouchDB filter. Now CouchDB filters um, you can use in conjunction with um, uh, the Changes API. So you can specify only the kinds of documents you want to receive from the Changes API. And in this case, you can see I've got a very simple database here set up called test. You can call yours anything you want. Um, uh, the only thing in here is this design document right now with, with this filter. And all the filter is is looking at the rev ID of, of documents. And if the rev ID begins with a 1, it will return that document through the changes API. Um, so for our purposes, that's important because it means it's a brand new document that was just inserted into CouchDB and has not been updated yet. So in, uh, uh, in SMSified, you specify a URL where you want uh, inbound text messages to be delivered. And SMSified will make an HTTP request with a JSON payload uh, that has all the details of that inbound message. What I'm going to do, you can see I have a very simple web server here written in Node. And because the payload that SMSified gives us is JSON, it makes it a really, really clean fit with CouchDB because I can just pop it in there because the document structure in CouchDB is JSON. And when I do that, that will trigger uh, the Changes API and it will, um, my filter will match on that and I will actually get a, a, um, a new document delivered. You can see here I've got an event handler set up for the doc event, which is emitted by the uh, CouchWatcher I just showed you. And what I'll do is uh, I will just use a, a, a hard-coded message to reply here. Uh, and I'll use the SMSified Node.js module, um, which you can uh, install just using um, uh, the Node Package Manager. And I'll send a reply to the inbound text message that I got just with this message that just says Node.js rocks. What I want to do, though, is I want to update my document. I want to update it with the reply that I sent, and based on what your app needs to do, this could be a custom response to every inbound text message. And I want to also update it with the result I get back from the SMSified API. So if I have a problem sending a response, I'll be able to pick that up really quickly because um, it'll be in CouchDB and I'll be able to see that. Uh, now this will update my document, which will mean the, the rev ID on my document will no longer begin with a 1. So it will no longer trigger the filter that I'm using to connect to my uh, CouchDB Changes API. Uh, I should note, too, that all this is being driven by the really, really nice and very, very powerful Cradle Node.js module for working with CouchDB. It's really awesome. So that's it. It's a, it's a really simple application. I'm going to respond to an inbound text message, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to store all the details in CouchDB. So let's see what it looks like in action. So I'm going to run this app. And inside CouchDB, or excuse me, inside uh, SMSified, uh, I have... Um, a mapping set up between a, 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 a number that's been provisioned for me and a URL where I want SMSified to send um, the inbound text message. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use uh, my Google Voice account to, uh, to send a quick text message. What can you tell me about Node.js? We already know what the response is going to be. So if I look at my app, what I'll see here is I'll see two, two um, debug statements that tell me a document's been saved. And what this means is that the first save of the document was the inbound message that I got from SMSified. Uh, and then it triggered the changes API. And this second document save is um, all the updates that I 
just walked you through the, the reply and I want to make sure I capture the response from the SMSified API. Uh, so if I look in my Google Voice account here, I'll see, yep, I got my response. What can you tell me about Node.js? Node.js rocks. And if I look at my CouchDB database, I should have a new record in here, and I do. And uh, I will notice that it has uh, the, uh, the number that it was sent from, um, in no particular order, the, uh, the message that was sent from the user, and what my response was, my reply, and then I've got a um, uh, information here that tells me that the the response was successful, um, and I can use this information to further query the SMSified API to get more detailed results on that response if I want to. But essentially, this is a complete record of the uh, text messaging interaction that we just had uh, that I can use to run reports, that I can run audits on, I can do all that stuff, and I did it in very 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 modest amount of um, Node.js code uh, using uh, the SMSified Node.js module, Cradle module, and uh, the very, very powerful changes API from CouchDB.